Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Matt from SnooCentral.org and SnoozeTV.com. Now, today we are going to be looking at four products from GN Tobacco. And these are all Odin's variety. And I used to be a huge Odin's fanboy, and I still like a lot of their products they make. Now, I'm going to be going into some detail on these guys, uh, a little bit more detail. Not a full-blown review, but I just want to get my thoughts out of the way on these snooses. I want to say it's been very, very hard to get through these four products that I have, that I have in front of me. It's been taking quite some time. I've had about three portions out of each of these cans, and I... I don't want to say I don't like them, because there's some good offerings here. And... When I say I don't like something, I want to get something completely clear. I try and keep my video reviews totally, you know, open and honest. That being said, there are some snoozes that I, that I personally absolutely cannot stand. One of those <laughs> is Cronin Original Portion. That's for another video. These four snooses, I have a hard time using these guys. Now, <clears throat> everybody's taste buds are different. I know that. I'm not saying don't buy these snooses. What I'm saying is maybe you guys will like these better than I have. So just keep that in mind. Let's get into it. This might be a long video, so grab your favorite snooze. Let's go. First, we're going to take a look at Odin's Extreme Cola Portion. Now, this snooze is pretty darn interesting. I like cola snooze. Jacobson's or Jakobson's Cola is probably the best cola snooze I have ever had, hands down. Once you have a snooze that good, you look at other cola snoozes, and they don't just, uh, they don't cut it anymore. So when you open this up and you smell it, it smells like cola, right? It's like, okay, yeah, I, I can see this. It reminds me of uh, a sweeter cola snooze with hints of uh, pretty decent, you know, GN tobacco base that they use in Odin's with a uh, reminiscent quality of off-road cola or cool A in the scent. And it smells very natural. It smells really good. But once you pop a portion in of this, to me, again, your taste buds may vary, it's a train wreck. Because this is an extreme portion snooze, sitting at 2.2%, it just overpowers any of the flavor that's in this portion. You get a good Odin's tobacco base that you find. It's very rich and deep and earthy. But the cola flavor is completely masked and it's almost not even noticeable. It's very peppery from the tobacco flavor and it doesn't really taste that strong of cola. It's there, but it's very, very mild and in the background. So keep that in mind. Um, you do get 18 grams of snus in all of these. Um, minus the white portion. That's different, I believe. But uh, let me double check portion count. I want to say it's like 15 portions. Let me double check. So from my couple portions I've used, you get about 18 to 20 portions per can. The can graphics are really cool. I like the hinged catch lid up top so you don't lose that, which is found on all your Odin's products. Um, but man, this flavor sucks to me personally. You guys might like it, I don't. That's enough on that one. I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible. Anyway, uh, next up, as I throw the cans around, let's take a look at Odin's Extreme Lime Portion. I was really excited about this snooze too, guys. This is one of those snoozes that I'm like, man, they need to make more lime flavored snoozes besides Epoch. Because when Yotoborg's Rappé Lime was discontinued, I was pretty much bummed out. Odin's Extreme Lime portion I was excited about. When you pop this open and smell it, it's even more promising. A really nice lime flavor, or scent, 
with a good Odin's tobacco undertone. And you're like, man, that smells like it's going to be really freaking good. Lime with tobacco. All right, I'll try it. When you pop it in, no. No. Skip this one. Me personally, I'm going to skip this one. You guys might like it. The lime flavor, yet again, is very underpowering. Uh, it's really, if this is a word, underwhelming. Uh, when I first popped this snooze in, all I tasted was pepper and lime. Guys, G and Tobacco, I know you could do a better job on your flavors. I've seen it. This is one that absolutely is horrible in my personal opinion. Again, you guys might like this, but man, come on. Maybe I got a off batch. Um, it's fresh. It's definitely fresh. But maybe G and Tobacco had a bad day with some of their batches. I don't know. But I come to expect more out of you guys. I don't... I don't know. I just... Didn't rub me the right way. Again, this is just like the cola with an underwhelming flavor of lime. It's just super weak. Good tobacco base, strong nicotine, 2.2%, 20 portions per can, but man, 18 to 20, but man, this is like, come on, enough of that. Let's move on. This one, on the other hand, is better. <laughs> Odin's Creamy Wintergreen. Now, I like wintergreen snooses. I'm a big fan of Jacobson's wintergreen. Uh, every now and again, I'll get general wintergreen, which isn't that great of a wintergreen snooze. But uh, Odin's Extreme Wintergreen, Creamy Wintergreen, is actually better than general wintergreen. And uh, this is one I actually enjoyed. This is a snooze that has a good wintergreen presence with some decent sweetness and a nice vanilla tone in it. And this is the one that I'm more excited about than really any of these other ones. Because this is a snooze that I know they can do their flavor profile great, and this one shines. 2.2% nicotine, um, 18 grams of total snooze in this can, 20 portions, so a decent amount there. Fills your upper lip quite well. A uh, good original portion, as well as these two. These are original portions as well. And uh, yeah, this is the better out of the three, or the four, that I have on the table. Um, really good flavor. Uh, flavor longevity on this guy is going to last you a good 35 minutes in the upper lip. These two, not so much. Uh, you're looking at probably 20 minutes, which is pretty sad. Like I said, I know Odin's can do flavor a lot better. But anyway, good snooze. Better than these two. And last but not least, Odin's Vanilla White Dry Extreme. Again, sitting at 2.2%, 10 grams of total snooze in this can. And minus the portions I've tried, let's see how many I got live or real time. The smell on this is really good too. To about 12 portions per can, 13. 13-ish portions per can um, is what I got on this. So this snooze is decent. You got, the, again, the great uh, Odin's-based tobacco flavor um, and the vanilla character. Now, I'm a huge vanilla fan as far as when you mix vanilla and tobacco together. I'm still waiting for a clove vanilla snooze that I know Odin's will do eventually uh, because I want it done. But anyway... Um, at least I hope they'll do it. But anyway, uh, I like vanilla in snooze, and this is okay. This is a somewhat decent snooze. It's not bad. It's not the greatest vanilla, vanilla flavor in you know the history of vanilla snoozes. This one is a little bit weak in the flavor department. I gotta say, it tastes like an artificial vanilla. At times it sort of tricks you because it almost tastes like a natural vanilla, but then you have an aftertaste which leads you to a fake vanilla character. Eh, it's okay. The nicotine hits good, like I said. It's an extreme portion, as the can states, and it's a 2.2%. 2 
So, if you like nicotine, I mean, try these snooses. Maybe? If you don't care about flavor that much? Besides these two, these are okay. But these two are absolutely, in my personal opinion, horrible. And again, you guys might like these, I just personally don't. Everybody's flavor profiles and palettes are different. I've been reviewing Snooze for so long now that I know what I like. And for somebody that's new to Snooze, I recommend trying everything you can get your hands on because you don't, you never know what you like. There's so many varieties out there. And even though I might may not like some of these snooses, it doesn't mean you won't. So keep that in mind, guys. Anyway, I wanna wrap this video up. It's getting way too long. And um, I hope you guys learned something. Try snooze. If you guys wanna stay connected in the world of Swedish snooze, check out none other than snoozecentral.org. For the latest articles my friend Larry Waters wrote, as well as Mo Unz and his drunken stupor of a world. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook and Instagram page to stay connected with quick hits along the day. And if you want these snooses, links are going to be down below in the description box. So check that out as well. Anyway, guys, after this video, I got cryo and I have to put in a new order. So thanks for watching this video. And until next time, you know the drill. Enjoy good snooze. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.